What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be checking out Phantom Doctrine, which is the next game from the developers of Hard West. It seems like there's a very much like an XCOM kick going on right now. There's Phoenix Point, there's Phantom Doctrine, lots of PH related XCOM games at the moment. Uh, this game's pretty hard, I'll be honest with you. I gave it a test run last night just to see how it goes before I went into the game because games like this tend to have a learning curve. And this game is no different, good sweet lord. This game is no different. This game is pretty hard. So we're going to see how this goes, but welcome to my impressions videos of Phantom Doctrine. So we're going to play the game on normal difficulty. We're going to get that all set up. I don't need the tutorial, actually, because I know what I'm doing right now. I played the first little bit. Next, we get to pick which campaign we want to play. We can play as the CIA or we can play as the KGB. I'm going to go with the KGB, Artyom Pavlov. That sounds okay to me. That's definitely like a workable name. we got to find a guy who looks like an Artyom, though. Who looks like an Artyom. For glorious KGB beer, so that we can stop American imperialists. Uh, that looks good right there. I'll take that one right there. All right, we'll create this character. Now we got to decide what he looks like. Got to make sure that he's looking good. Uh, what are these? Which of these faces is going to be my guy? That guy looks okay right there. I mean, he got like, he got lips like caterpillars, but it's all right. Uh, body type: athletic, average, slim, or stocky. We'll go athletic because I would assume most secret agents would be athletic. As far as the hair goes, we'll go with a buzz cut real quick. Well, we can have like a, a short hair. We gotta match our portrait, man. I'm anal about stuff like that. Like, if I don't match my portrait, I feel like I've done a poor job at character creation. And so that looks good right there. As far as clothes go, we can pick our suit jacket. No, I'm trying to, where's my three piece at? I'm trying to have like a three piece, there we go. That's the stuff right there, that's looking good. We aren't gonna rock the Oxfords, no. We're gonna rock loafers. And then we can have gloves. Yeah, put on the black leather gloves so that we look hella terrifying. I want to I wanna look scary right now. I want to look like a creepy bastard that comes to take you away. When you make the kids, you be mad, we'll come for you. And then we'll go with like a blue tie right there. Ooh, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. Okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Are you guys feeling it right now? I'm feeling it. It's looking good. What kind of headgear we got going on? Um. Well, there's our winner right there. Oh, double winner. Hell yeah. Oh, triple winner. Oh my god. Well, this is where we're at now. This is where we're at. But these have to match the tie. There we go. They have to. If they don't, accessories always match your tie. So, you know, you match your shoes to your belt. Accessories match to your tie. That's how this works. So if we were going to put on some jewelry, we'd want to wear some nice sapphires. Or like a sapphire ring. Because your jewelry and accessories always match the tie. Always. I'm feeling pretty good about Is that white right there? Oh, the trapper's hat. Gotcha. I'm going to make it a little darker. I'm going to darken it up ever so... Oh, we can make it match? That works for me. Yeah, let's have it match then. Looks good. Zoom back out. Make sure we're all color-coded up. Oh, we about to be the killer that rules the night. Let's go. Yankee Juliet uniform. Reporting contraband seized. Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. Tavarish, HMS Conqueror Narushal Radio Malchani. Sto? Показать расшифровку. А быстрее. Немедленно послать в Москву. Немедленно. We got intel from Vladivostok. It's big, Steve. Langley seen it yet? No. Should they? Hell yeah, but use the network. We don't want anyone listening in. First the British, and now the Americans. Was there anyone else you wanted to involve in our plans? I am handling it, Valhalla. Get out. Both of you. Your incompetence has exposed us. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. It was a simple plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. 
Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. Traitors! Now, now, don't shout. It's bad for your heart. We just murked that dude for failing. Uh, Agent Yukon divulged secret information to the Americans. His arrest warrant was signed Patriot and accompanied by codes with the highest level of clearance. So somebody important in Moscow must consider his crimes to be very serious. As an officer of the Space Forces Directorate, Yukon will be handled by local KGB counterintelligence agent. You. Well, then let's do this thing. I will be that counterintelligence agent. Почему ты его просто не арестуешь? Хочу увидеть, кто еще появится. Наверное, ГРУ уже на месте. Проволка речь. Что случилось? Милиционеры только что вбежали в здание. Не могу больше говорить. Не думаю, что эти менты здесь официально. Я тоже. Подготовьтесь к стрельбе. Постараемся не оставлять беспорядка. Слишком много бумаг. Okay. So we got cameras over here. One thing that I've learned about this game is that you do not want infiltration mode to end. If you screw up infiltration mode early on in the mission, it's basically a GG and you might as well restart now. Не хочу, чтобы ГРУ узнала о нашем присутствии. Пульт управления должен быть рядом. Просто выключи камеры. There's a camera right there. I don't know how far that guy can see. Or if he's even a problem. But, we've got multiple floors over here with all kinds of stuff going on. These little things that you're seeing right here is there's like loot throughout the levels. Kind of like Jagged Alliance style. Uh, there's secret things you can find around that give you more points for the mission so that you have things to spend on gear later on. So it's a good idea to not break infiltration and to kind of just sneak around for a little bit. And kind of like see what you can find up inside this place. Uh, do I have any abilities that I can call in? So we've got Takedown, Distract, Zen... What does Zen do? The character's awareness is up by 40 per turn, last three turns. That's pretty good. So this game doesn't use the typical the typical system that XCOM does, where somebody shoots at you, and they have a chance to hit. In this game, you have this little meter down here in the bottom left, or this little meter under our health bar called awareness. Every time you get shot at, it detracts the HP damage you would have taken from your awareness until you run out of awareness. And so you have these cool turns where your guys are actually like secret agents, running along the wall, dodging bullets, Discord is still on. Sorry about that, I was streaming earlier with people on Discord, and apparently the Discord desktop act doesn't actually slow down. Or I'm sorry, shut down when you hit the X, it goes down into the taskbar and just hangs out right there. I had no idea, this is why Splatty plays with new things. But as I was saying, when you get shot at, you lose awareness instead, and every turn your awareness comes back by a certain amount. Some characters get more awareness back than others, but every hit in this game is a guarantee. It's just you've got to get through people's awareness first. Now we got takedown, pick up agent, stabilize, distract, distract an enemy slash civilian. Okay, I don't know how I use that. I've never used that before, so that's a little nerve-wracking. I'm a tiny bit worried this guy's going to see me over here. Who is this dude? Looks like he's just a civilian. Chances are he's not trouble. We'll try, though, and I'll roll it back if this guy ends up seeing us and calling the police. He should be able to see us around the corner right there because it's as though... he can, You can see things that are on corners in this game and shoot at things that are on corners. Go ahead and end our turn real fast. We don't know where the enemy's at, but hopefully we can track them down swiftly. So on this floor... I don't see a whole lot. I'm going to send him in to go ahead and take care of the cameras real fast because they're inside this room. Some characters have an ability where you can call in surveillance or something like that, and it'll show you the layout of the next floor up. But I'm not seeing it right now. I'm not seeing it. I don't know if there's any policia over there either. And I'm not really in the mood to split up. So that's a secure area that we're not allowed to be in. You can tell that because of the red ring 
that's around it. So if we go inside this room and anybody that sees us, civilian or otherwise, will automatically ring the alarm and the game will like start in combat mode essentially. And so we don't want that to happen. And now, because of that, we know that there's cameras in that room right there too. And this area is still verboten. And so that's the end of our turn. Let's go ahead and bypass it right there. Next turn, we should be able to knock out these cameras, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. We are now officially trespassing. Go ahead and get whatever's in the safe, too. So we got light armor out of the safe. I don't know if that's a safe. Like, I don't know what that is. There's one in here, too. And I'm not sure what it is. Like, I don't know if it's just like a radiator. It looks like it might be a radiator or a heater or something. It's got little heat markers coming off of it. So that seems plausible. Now that the cameras are down, I kind of don't want you in there anymore. But he ended his turn in kind of a... A sketchy spot. Go ahead and go over to that door right there. We're going to see if we can take this guy down on the next turn and hide his body in one of the alternate areas. There's no loot inside of there. Uh, you kind of just stay where you're at for right now. Hopefully nobody sees us. I'm not trying to get caught trespassing right now. Definitely do not blow your cover in this game. If you blow your cover in this game, it's a nightmare. The enemy will kill you. You're a secret agent with, like, pistols and stuff. And they have, like, endless reinforcements that just come in waves. Just don't risk it, my dude. Just don't risk it. Let's get out of the trespassing area right now so that we're no longer suspicious if a guard sees us. And then over here... I think I can take her out. Alright, so she's officially down. Let's check the cupboard over here for any loot we can get. Uh, we got a pistol suppressor and somebody's bowel movement. Fantastic. This guy gotta go too. Perfect. And so that clears off two of our little danger zones right there, just in case we decide to trespass and run around. Uh, I'm going to go into this room now that we've got everything cleared. So let's get everybody indoors. I don't know if they'll see bodies or anything like that, but I'd rather not risk it. Uh, risking it for the biscuit at this point, not a good idea. Let's keep it nice and stealthy. I played this mission last time and I blew my cover like the second I came in here because there's guards right at the top of these stairs. And so if you go even, like, slightly inside this little area right here, they'll see you. And if you don't, like, this game kind of has noob traps to it, where, like, if you don't know the map already, you get punished for it. Like, I thought that once we knocked out the cameras, I'd be able just to walk right in. As it turns out, you kind of want to stay outside of trespassing zones as much as possible. Don't end your turn in them. Don't fiddle around with them. There's a pretty good chance that bad things are going to happen to you if you mess around in trespassing zones. Also, don't open doors until you're ready because people can see you through those doors. Oh, there's a guy right there. Uh, you double back and come back around this way. I'm a little worried he's going to turn around and see us inside this little area. And the less people that I leave inside of a trespassing location, the better. Is that everybody? We all good here? It sounded like guards to me. Go around the side of the building and keep watch. Okay. Get inside the room. You get inside. I'm a little worried. I can't see the top floor. In the tutorial, there's an ability that you get called Surveillance. The surveillance will allow you to... What does dispose of body do? Hide killed. That's probably a good idea. Maybe I should. Huh? 
Okay, I guess we just like arbitrarily hide people places. Yeah. Uh, he's already used up his movement, but I'm gonna have to do the same thing over here. Just in case this guy comes around the corner and decides to pick up that body. Uh, can you do anything right now? There you go, get rid of that body. I just want us to look super nonchalant over here and not come under fire as soon as possible. Because I, contrary to popular belief, I don't like being shot at. I don't, I don't prefer it. If I have a choice between being shot at and not being shot at, I would adore not being shot at. Alright, go through to right there. And do some scouting for me, would you? Ugh, I can't see what's upstairs. And I know there's guards and stuff, so... So in the tutorial, there was an ability that you could use that called in surveillance. Oh, cool. That's kind of a cool ability. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Nice. Blinding laser. Okay. Cool. I'm a little bit worried about sending her up there if I don't have to. Yeah, just get inside the room. There's a possibility we're going to get seen either way. But, I mean, line of sight in this game can be hard to predict. It can be a little bit tough. I got sh I, th I shot through a floor last time I played this. Like, I was on the stairwell right here. And a guy on the bottom floor that was, like, right here shot me. And I still don't know how he managed that. I was a little confused by that. And so it's made me paranoid about all this stuff. I guess get into the room. We're going to have to YOLO it, I think. Well, we didn't see anything. This area looks like you're allowed to be in it. Does that just mean trespassing? That doesn't mean somebody's seen me, right? Yeah, get in here. I give you my permission. Sneak your way in and do what you gotta do. I see zero guards. Which I think is good. I'm going to send this guy to sneak off this way. It might be a good idea just to get our objective done first. But I honestly don't know. Nothing in here so far, so we're clear. It's honestly, it's got a little bit of an invisible ink feeling to it, too. That's, that's the next way that I would describe this game, is the infiltration period in this game is very, very important. And it reminds me of Invisible Ink. Go ahead and get into cover. I'm going to send him over to pick up whatever that is because I want it. Getting loot is typically a really good idea in this game so that you don't have to buy it later on. You follow him around. Do not hit that door right there. I've seen them kick down doors and stuff before when they run by. Not frequently, but every now and again you get unlucky and they, they blow your cover that way. Like, they'll do some weird, like, pathing thing where they run over here, open the door, then continue running. And you're like, no, there was a guy inside of there that I didn't want to be seen by. Uh, there's a ladder right here that takes us up to the next floor, I think. But, yeah, blind playing this game is really hard. Good luck with that. If you try to play this game blind, it's hard, dude. It's really, really, really hard. I played the first mission just to see what happens. But... Yeah, close that back off. I don't want to risk it. We'll open it up on the next turn when we can actually run in there and knock him out. Uh, you guys can move into here. Be careful, too, because people who are outside, like if there was a guard right here on the outside, they can see you through the windows and it'll blow your cover, too. And so, be very careful, comrade. If you're not careful, bad things can happen in field. It can work out not so good for you, a noble Soviet beer. I'm hoping this guy don't move around too much. If I can just incapacitate him, that'd be a lot better. 
So that's going to take two movement points. What does it take to knock somebody out? Yeah, go ahead and do it. Apparently I can do that from diagonals. And that sounds alright to me. Perfect. Go over there. We'll grab whatever that document is. Really hoping there's nobody upstairs. Yeah. Bad day to be our boy over here. So we've got classified documents right there. There's three of those on the map. I don't know where the rest of them are. We are going to have to locate them, though, if we want to do our job effectively. Um, Indigo, what are you doing right now? Nah, I think we're solid, Indigo. You being paranoid. Oh, there was loot back in over there? We'll go get that loot then. Hold on. There's there's loot over here on the table that I didn't see. We'll go grab that real fast. Oh, and there's a cabinet right there. Man, we got all kinds of goodies coming for us. Hopefully, the enemy never notices that we're here. If we do this right, setting off an alarm in this game is among... Basically, that's critical. That's It's 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 critical meltdown. If You, you should be sneaking in this game, and you should be careful. Don't take the obvious way inside. Look around the map. See if there's other ways to access the locations you want to go into. Because if you don't play it like that, bad things are going to happen. And it's not going to be enjoyable for you. Uh, you start clearing the third floor. If there's anybody up here who needs to be knocked out, make sure they get knocked out. Um, I guess grab the stuff out of the storage closet real quick. A Model 870. Isn't that a shotgun? Got a frag grenade. I can't see what I have in my inventory right now, I don't think. So we already grabbed that. Uh, you dispose of that body real quick. Go ahead and melt him or pour nitroglycerin on it or do whatever it is you do to get rid of bodies. I don't know. I've never disposed of a body. At least law enforcement hasn't been able to prove it. That's all I'm going to say for right now because I'm not trying to risk my freedom, y'all. I'm not trying to risk my freedom. What is that? There's something on the third floor that we can activate? What is it, like a camera thing? I don't know what that is. I was going to say, I don't think everybody's moved their fill just yet. Uh, the combat in this game, even though you haven't seen it so far, is very XCOM-ish. It's all about taking cover. Uh, instead of giving you a dodge chance in this game, cover gives you a damage reduction. So if you're behind cover and you get shot at and you're out of awareness, like high cover gives you like 50% damage reduction. And they're torching the place. Well, that feels bad. Oh, I think I gotta be on the other side of the table. Damn it. Thurman, start moving on out. I haven't been able to use you much lately. And I would prefer to be able to. Uh, this stairwell right here is essentially our rendezvous. That's where we're trying to get to. And so I'll try to keep that clear. Hopefully we haven't been seen. Thurman's standing next to an open door, so that kind of worries me. I wasn't trying to. It just kind of happened. I'm a sneaky bastard. Perfect. There's two out of three. Uh, this dude seems like... Oh, he's actually got view lines. Okay. So I can sneak up on him if I wanted to. All right. Was there anything else around here? He's grabbing the third document, I think. Like, I'm, I'm arguing with myself if it's actually worth it to even mess with that guard over there. Or if I should start moving people towards the exfil, which is around the back of the building right here. Which I only know because I played this mission and I failed it before.
Oh, I think that's our objective. That's the thing we got to pick up. Like, they took intel or something off that guy's body, if I remember right. Oh, yeah, there's another document on the table over there. Shit. We might have to leave that one behind. I don't know. We might have to leave it. I'm not sure. Like, now that I've cleared that right there, I don't know if I want to send him back to get it right now when they said they were going to torch the place. Uh, you set up and get ready for exfil right next to the stairwell, please. You kind of just hold the back door. Um, you go back and get the documents. What up? Thurman, you get back over here and get ready for the exfil too. Basically, he's just going to run around and do stuff for right now. I don't know how many turns we have to play around with this, but they said they were going to torch the place. I don't know if that was just thematic or if they're actually going to torch the place. But I would rather not find out. Why couldn't you just photograph it from that side, my dude? I'm just saying, brother man. I'm just saying. Come on. Give me an opening. Can I go around the back right here? Can I? Yeah. I was say, because that door's open right now, and since we have no idea where the guard is at, it may be a better plan to go around the long way, assuming that there's a door right there that I can utilize. Oh, that door is shut. Never mind. We'll just grab it right now and we'll be okay. He doesn't have an easy way back down to the second floor, aside from the main stairwell. Can I use takedown on him? Apparently he already called in reinforcements. That's a bummer. It's okay, though. It's all right. Uh, you guys hang out right here. And I'll pop that door open in just a minute, because reinforcements shouldn't be able to get here rapidly. I was going to say, they should mostly be outside right now. But this is what happens when it all falls apart. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Phantom Doctrine. If you like what you saw so far, you can pick up the game down below in the description. Hope you guys liked it. But anyways, if you guys liked what you saw so far, you can get it down there. We'll continue this episode, or we'll continue this mission tomorrow. Thanks for stopping on in, and thank you for supporting me. If you like this video, hit it with a like. And other than that, I got nothing else for you. I do, everybody.